Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Black Heaven Gaming Co. This is General Minded James giving my first impressions on Dead or Alive 6. Dead or Alive 6 is the newest iteration into the Dead or Alive series. And basically, it just compounds on a lot of the things that 5 did great, Dead or Alive 6 does better. So let's get into the conversation about talking about some of the characters and mechanics that six has to offer while we search for rank matches um one thing i can say as far as the online experience even though that this is the beta um i found it that six runs a lot better to, better than five online which is expected it is the newest iteration of the game but i didn't expect so in the beta versus five being the complete product as of now so that's that's a plus and since this is the beta online will only get better with time as far as my online connection i set to any um i found this useful in finding the most matches different types of variety of matches as well so we can get a good sample size on how it interacts with other players as well also one of the things that didn't change from five to six are the characters um a lot of your favorite characters do feel the same so one might be inclined to go back brush up on some of the skills that um you may have had in five and just learn some more of your character stuff when getting into six i'm a hayate man so i can feel some of hayate's older combos from five to six he does feel great one of the things dead or alive has always boasted was their fluidity in their combat um one of the most fluent fighting games to this day has been dead or alive and six is keeping that status alive um, as far as the gameplay goes, uh, Team Ninja introduced a new mechanic as far as your auto combo within Fatal Rush. Um, you can perform Fatal Rush by pressing R1 four times to do your auto combo and it builds meter. It also consumes meter. Once you have a full meter and you do your auto combo, you go into the next new mechanic that they implemented. it was your break blow your break blow can also be done out of your auto combo or by pressing forward and r1 at the same time and that's just your big cinematic super move to get this your big cinematic super move that um is very reminiscent to the critical blows and such of five and also along with the break blow you have your break hold and um break holds let you um counter hold any move in the game um although this may seem like it's broken it costs one meter although it uh seemed like it may be broken when you counter hold you have a good spacing from the opponent so it's more reset into neutral versus just giving you the advantage it was a more it's more used as a get out of jail free card versus as hey i countered now i have the full advantage it resets the neutral is it's a good tool and i'm glad to see that they implemented these characteristics without breaking the game um as far as you would expect uh a lot of stuff happens within betas long loading times things of that nature matches not connecting and um game crashes they addressed this in the beginning of the beta of it booting up but uh all in all the online combat is fluid the characters feel roughly the same and you have your new mechanics to dive into so um i just want to thank y'all for listening to this brief breakdown and overview of the beta please enjoy the background matches and i'll see you next time peace rush it's an interesting mechanic Fatal Rush is a very interesting mechanic 
Um, like I said, so far it's not game breaking. So, that's the only thing I ask for. I ask for fairness. Um, That was an interesting round. Very interesting round. Up. I've always grown up by a higher boost though. Mm, wow. Good one. Ooh. Yeah, that's sick. That's super sick. Again, um the brake system isn't game. stated in my first impressions video like this person is running five bars but like laggy as if it's a one bar connection yeah spam <laughs> but yeah laggy as if it's a one bar connection um I played a what was that two bar and it ran excellently It ran excellently. But this is interesting though. Just feeling my way through. Again, uh, a lot of the characters do feel the same. So, I'm a big Hayate player. So. So, yeah. Yeah. It feels good. Man. So yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Oh, well, you on it. <laughs> Man. came to the end. <laughs> yeah. Let's think about DOA players. There's a lot of good DOA players, man. There's a lot of good 
DOA player. But that's hard to tell. So getting into a match, hopefully I can show you all how it runs online. Again, as I said before, it's it's um it can be kind of rough sometimes. Connection quality does vary, but um you'll find most matches with any as well. Again, um, one of the things that DOA boasts is its fluidity in its combat. DOA combat has always been very smooth, and this title is no exception. But um, just getting used to some of the latency and lag that you would come across online is a is a big issue. Uh, initially, it does run much smoother than five from an initial standpoint. I do like um I do like the better the better overhaul of the online from five versus versus what we'll usually have. It's um it's quite interesting to uh, to see and play and then also have both those games to compare to. Five wasn't horrible online, but it did have some things that um, that were bothersome. Again, like five bar connection, hardwired, did run horribly as well. If it did feel like um you or your opponent could have been on Wi-Fi. Hmm. 